Thank you for calling the New Orleans Ernest N. Morial Convention Center, the nation's sixth largest convention center, mccno.com. Hello. Hi. Michael Sawyer. Yeah, let me introduce you. You're the president and general manager of the New Orleans Ernest N. Morrell Convention Center. Did I say it Morial. right? Morial. Morial. Uh-huh. Okay. M-O-R-I-L. Uh, Morial. I am talking to you today because you have a festival that looks like a, a something unique in the country. Sure, NOLA Christmas okay. Fest. Okay. Do you want to tell uh-huh. the country what the NOLA Christmas Fest is? Sure. It's uh, this year is presented by Coca Cola, and this is our seventh year, and it's a, just a tremendous event where we transform the convention center into a winter wonderland, and we do it. Uh, we use about 350,000 square feet of our uh, 1.1 million square feet of exhibit space, and we really convert it into something that's family friendly and fun for all, and really gives an opportunity for people to experience Christmas in a way that they they typically don't get to in New Orleans. Right, because your temperature runs about what now? Well, it was about 80 yesterday. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it dropped down about, about 40 today, but yesterday was about 80. <laughs> okay, all right. But you have, I, I looked at the website, and there's a whole bunch of unique, wonderful things. You have a big ice skating rink, and you have Santa skating, and you have a ginger, gingerbread area and a Christmas tree area and craft vendors. So what's your favorite part? Well, you know, I, I love an ice skating rink. You know, there's nothing that says uh, says winter wonderland or Christmas uh, season more than an ice skating rink. And uh, and it was very popular last year, and it's next to the two ice slides that we offer also. Those are 15-foot giant ice slides. And this year we added a Ferris wheel. So it's just, just a tremendous thing for people to enjoy. And, uh, and, and, and new this year, of course, is a nightly snowfall fall over that ice rink. So we're excited about not only the event itself, but the enhancements that we're bringing this year. Can I send you some of my snow? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, okay, so how big how big is the um, the ice rink? And and the Ferris wheel is not on the ice rink, is it? It's not. It's right next to it. It's a 50-foot Ferris wheel, and uh, the ice oh. rink is just right next to that. So uh, I'm not sure the size of the uh, ice rink itself, but uh, good enough size to, to to where about 100 people can be skating at one time. So this festival's been going on for how long? This will be our seventh year. And do you know what your attendance is? Last year we had about 50,000, and that was our uh, biggest attendance ever. So uh, we're hoping to hit 50,000 and break that record again this year as well. So if I'm not mistaken, I think it starts December 20th? That's right, opening uh, this Friday, December the 20th, and uh, goes through the 31st. Yeah, most of the Christmas festivals in the country run, um, you know, like the first or second week of the month. I don't think I've seen another one. Are you aware of any others in the country that are like yours anyway? No, you know, this one's very unique to us, and it's it's our way of thanking the community and uh, welcoming visitors who are around for the holidays as well, and uh, something very unique and indigenous to New Orleans and that we've gained a reputation for uh, only a New Orleans type of approach. So uh, we're excited to offer it once again. Okay, so you have a skating with uh, Santa uh, Day, so you want to tell me about that? Sure. That's going to be on uh, Saturday, December the 21st. Uh, it's uh, in the morning. Uh, we'll serve donuts and coffee and hot cocoa, and uh, and people will have an opportunity to uh, buy a ticket and uh, skate with Santa just during that period of time. So that's the one day that we're going to offer that special event. And you also have a gingerbread area. Uh, tell our we- listeners about that. We do. We have a, a huge gingerbread house that uh, really one of the things that I enjoy the most is watching the kids go through it. It's more of a village and a uh, gingerbread village, and we watch that come to life, and uh, and the kids really have a good time with that. Okay, so how many approximate gingerbread houses are there? I, I don't. <laughs> not off the top of my head. I just know it, there's a lot of them. It, it, it's bigger than just having one house. It's a village. They are regular gingerbread-sized houses, right? Well, they're life-size. Oh, they are? Yeah, it's a oh, village. You actually they, walk through it. Made out of gingerbread? They are. Oh, that's 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 really cool. And, okay, so you have a Christmas tree area. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. 
Well, uh, there's a, it's a display, and we have different companies in town uh, and around the country who sponsor those trees. So they'll come in and they'll decorate those, and then their sponsorship is uh, is uh, listed next to their tree, so they can uh, grab some attention for uh, their decorating skills. So it's uh, it's kind of a uh, Christmas tree forest. It's pretty cool. Okay, uh, and Coca Cola has sponsored this for how long? Well, this is their first year to be the presenting sponsor. They've been a sponsor for quite a while, and uh, but uh, they stepped up in a bigger way this year. But st- we still have a promotion with them. If uh, people bring their uh, their Coke cans, uh, they get five dollars off of a general admission ticket. They get a bring a a, co- uh, a can or a twenty ounce bottle of any Coke product, then they get five dollars off. So you have also got a whole bunch of bounce houses. That seems like a kind of a strange thing to have at a Christmas festival. Well, but of course, they're, they're Christmas-themed bouncy houses, though, they're, so they're kind of fun and cool. But, no, we don't have things just for the kids. This year we have something kind of new called the, the Tinsel Terrace Tavern, and we're going to have uh, – that's for the adults. It overlooks the ice rink. And for those who need a little bit of a break from the hustle and bustle, and we'll offer a menu with craft holiday craft cocktails like – like the Grinch and the and the bar rum bug, things like that. It'll be kind of fun. Okay. All right. And you have a lot of vendors. How many vendors do you have? You know, quite a bit. I'm not sure the exact number, but uh, quite a lot of sponsors and vendors that we bring in for this event. It takes a it takes a village to put on an event like this. Our employees really get behind this, and uh, they put a lot into it. A lot of the, uh, the decor is done by our in-house staff. The audio and visual pieces are done by our in-house staff. I was just in there this morning and uh, noted uh, some of the new things that we've offered around, like the Tinsel Tavern and uh, the staff uh in our uh, building department, created those, and they're really, really special. They really put a lot of effort, time and effort into this event. All right. And I noticed that one of the things that you have uh, every day is like a, a storybook reading for uh, the children. We do, uh, there's, it, and the schedule is posted at different times on uh, given days, but uh, that's also something that uh, kids can enjoy during the whole the whole festival. All right. And what hours approximately does this thing run, do you know? I do. Uh, let me look for that here. It is 11 a.m. until 9 p.m. daily. Now, special hours on uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and New Year's Eve. So uh, uh, people have to check the website to see what those days are. You're open on New Year's Eve, too. Are you actually open to New Year's? We are, and you'd be surprised how many people show up for that. <laughs> you know, we're based on our history. You know, we know what the pattern is, and uh and uh, we do have quite a few people who show up for that. And i got to tell you, it's a big uh, big uh, sacrifice for our employees to do that. They really enjoy working this event because they're, uh, they're uh, really spreading joy for the kids and for the families over the season. Now, the convention center hosts a lot of other uh, activities during the year. So uh, just tell, can you tell our listeners what might be coming up after this? Well, you know, we roll right into <laughs> Mardi Gras season right after Christmas Fest, when you think about it. This particular year, though, uh, we're going to be hosting the college football championship game. Uh, that's the second weekend in, in January. So that's a major event that uh, is a, uh, isn't a is an annual event, but we're honored to host it this year. So just within a couple of weeks after Christmas Fest, uh, we'll be on the national stage once again. Uh, so what is the parking light at your facility like? We have a tremendous amount of parking, more than most convention centers, and it's all convenient to that area. And, uh, you know, we offer parking uh, uh, immediately outside of the area. We're holding Christmas Fest, and uh, I think the charge is $15 per, per, per car. And now I'm curious about one thing. Does Santa actually arrive on December 24th? He'll be here on the 20th, <laughs> for sure. No, uh, Santa will actually be here on the 21st, which is the first day that we're going to do skating with Santa. Oh, so he's not going to be delivering presents there on the 24th. I think he's going to be kind of busy that day. <laughs> yep. Okay, I've thoroughly enjoyed listening to you, and um, have a great festival. And I wish I could come, but I'm in Denver with the cold. So. Well, that's okay. Maybe next year. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. <laughs>